Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are going to, do you guys want to see the weave shuffle? I might flash a card if I do it to the camera, but I'll do it to the camera. Why not? Look at this loveliness. Do you know why I love plastic cards? That's one of the reasons why I love plastic cards. These are some po Copag, Copag playing cards, 100% plastic PVC. Yes, they have kind of a PVC smell to them, just so you're aware. All right, let's play a quick hand here. We're not playing for anything. This is just for kicks and giggles. I know 100,000 is your usual, <laughs> big, your usual open, right? 100,000. So I'm going to burn a card. So grab your deck at home and shuffle. You can play along. Tell us what you have in the comments below. Uh, see, I burned a card. Do I deal myself a hand? Okay, that's my hand. I know I've already burned it. It's just, that's just what we're going to, my channel, my rules, all right? That's not how normal poker would go. So this is my, I need a, here, let's use one of these awesome majestic plaques as my keeper here. All right, so we are going to flop. There, we, there's, all right, we're not, I'm on YouTube, I got to remember that there's no betting cycles here. All right. Wow, I hope you hit your 8-2 right there. 8-2. Eight, eight oh, goodness. Well, let, oh, I, I was going to say, if you have the ace-king, but you can't because the king's right here. But you know what's funny is your deck at home, you could have the king of diamonds. It's just what it is. So let us know what you have in the comments below. They're not very realistic, but a fun exercise here. And how did the chips do? These are the Royal Card Room chips from Apache Poker Chips. I did not pay for these with my own money. These were sent to me for review. Full disclosure here. So let's have a look here. I'm going to spread some of these out so you can see some of the denominations. Now, 43 mil. I'm going to throw a Majestic. This is a 39 millimeter chip, just so you can see the difference. Looking through the camera, it's hard to get a perspective of the scale of the 43 millimeter just when they're by themselves. So I'll leave this here for fun. All right, what are we doing here? We have the 1,100. Look how similar these are. This one's a little bit <laughs> dusty. 25,000. Good thing everything's in focus. So while I'm putting these out, I might throw up the weight, width, and thickness. I always like to take measurements of chips that I'm reviewing. So we have, you know, something concrete to go off of. It's not just reference to what you're seeing here in on your screen right here. Okay, so these are the denominations here. Let's see if I can Try to get this in some sort of order here. All right, I'm going to leave this 100 right here for, can we see all those? Are those all on camera looking through my viewfinder here? It looks like they are. So what we're looking at here, in my opinion, is something that I like to see in the poker chip world, and that's more options. Okay, so you have a set of Majestics that go up to $100, but you want some 500s. Well, if you want a larger chip, then this is a great option. And last, to my understanding, at the making of this video, March 2020, if you request Majestic labels on your Royal Card Room chips, you can get that. They'll make those for you. So Josh at Apache Poker Chips, I've purchased many things from Apache Poker Chips with my own money and I've been very happy with the service. So yeah, totally, you could see this as an accessory to the Majestics set, which I like. So you can actually progress. You can do, you know, one to 139 millimeter, and then you can easily move into a $500, 43 millimeter chip, and then you can move into big old huge plaques. The Majestics have really evolved into a robust set. So I'm very happy with that. Now, there are some problems with 43 millimeter chips. It's not anything that you can't work around. For example, a normal chip rack. This just happened to be sitting right over here, so I just grabbed it. Look at this homemade chip. Folks, don't make your own chip. Just buy chip. Don't make your own chips. <laughs> it's a warning to the world. So these don't fit in here very well. Yes, they can kind of sit in here, but the second that you try to put them next to other 39 millimeter chips, they just don't really fit. So you need to get some 43 millimeter racks. Not a huge deal. Apache Poker Chips sells those as well. Sounds like a good business model to me. So just be aware. Storage can be 
something you have to think about more than maybe you would want to. So that's something, same with plaques. It's like, where, where am I gonna put all these? You know, especially if you have a carrying case. So little things like that, things to consider. To me, the other negative for the Royal card room is the smell. There is kind of this VOC, kind of a PVC smell associated with these. I don't have the best or the most keen sense of smell. So if you're really sensitive to smell, you might want to get a sample set first before you dive into these lovely china clays. Other than those two things, I'm really struggling. The price is reasonable for the size of the chip. They feel amazing. The interesting thing about 43 millimeters, which I never really appreciated until I got a stack of them, is how stable they are. They shuffle beautifully. They have nice rounded edges. Not sure if you're going to, be able to see that on camera, but it's like they're pre-broken in and they look wonderful. And they are really stable. So I always like to do this flatness test. And you can hear, they're not perfectly flat, but because the size of them, they are very stable and they feel very good. They stack very well for what they are. So I'm really struggling to see why, to see why I'm not gonna end up with a whole set of these. Now, I know I talked earlier about mixing and matching, but if I were to do a set of Royals, I would actually buy a whole set of these because I like the 43 millimeter feel. Um, the shuffling, they're just something different. And remember, I'm coming from a reviewer standpoint, okay? So I've seen, and I just showed you right here, I've seen a million, not, it's, I'm using hyperbole, don't, there's always somebody who's like, dear Hobby John, dear John Hobby, you're, you said that there's a there's not a million poker chips available. Thanks for that. Hyperbole, look it up, change your life. So I've seen so many 39 millimeter chips. I know in casinos, they have 43 millimeter Paulsons for some of the large denominations. Even available like through Horseshoe Cleveland, Horseshoe Cincinnati, had some of those larger chips. Were they 45? They're, they're different, they're larger Paulsons. So it's nice to see some China clays that are larger. Yes, thank you so much. And I was really excited to see these sets come out. Now, would I buy these? Yes, I'm actually really tempted to buy them. Uh, right now we're currently in the middle of a move so I'm not going to in the next six months okay but maybe once we settle somewhere we're going to uh, th these are high on my list of brand new stock chips that I really like and that I want and yeah I'd get a whole set of 43 millimeter uh, the mixing and matching is just you know when you're stacking for me it's feel based right so when I'm stacking 43 millimeter and so for those of you that don't know, uh, I, I'm preaching, lots of you know this, okay? So I, just bear with us. We're talking to some people who are new to poker chips and new to poker. So when you bet, you, you want your large denomination on top, okay? So you're throwing a bet out, right? So you're compiling behind your line, you're compiling your bet. You're like, all right, so I want an $800 bet. So there's 300, 500. All right, well, there's my bet. Oh, dang it, now I'm string betting. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So I wouldn't personally mix and match. I like it that the option's there. You know, just do the push when you're betting like that. And they see that big, huge 500, yeah, get some folds. Or raise it, or maybe, you know, maybe, yeah. Anyway, I would stick with 43 millimeters across the whole denomination range. And if I wanted something larger, I'd get some of these sweet plaques. Anyway, let me know your thoughts about these Royal Card Room chips yes there there's no metal slug in here they have a good weight as you saw when i showed you the specs on them, the weight width and thickness they're pretty stable and they're large so they're actually i should say very stable compared to some 39 millimeter chips they look good they have a great feel to them they feel you know pretty coarse they feel like a broken in casino chip without you know the beer stains and the grime and the bo from people's fingers so Obviously, they're, they're new. So let me know your thoughts about these. Yes, these were sent to me, like I said at the beginning of the video, in case you missed that. So I did not buy these with my own money, but I'm really tempted to because they're pretty spectacular. Let me know your thoughts. Have you played these? Do you have these in your game regularly? Do you like the colors? 
Do you like China clays? Maybe some people out there just hate China clays. Let us know your thoughts and if there's something that you would choose over these or if you would actually go with these lovely royal chips. Thank you, Josh at Apache Poker Chips for sending these for me. I paid for the, I, this I bought with my own money. Same with the 39 millimeters, the Majestics. So just, I, the FCC requires disclosure on everything. So that is the end. Thank you for watching. Uh, let's see, subscribe, like the video. Be sure to visit my Amazon shop in the links in the description below. I'm an Amazon associate, so I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you so much for watching. My name is John Hobby.